With explicitness and grace, my queen had the nerve to look me in my face and say, you don't even know me. But what she didn't know is that when a man truly shares his time, his money, his heart, knowing the crust of his female is an automatic part. So I told sweetheart, trust that I know you. I know how you think. I know how you act. I know how frustrated you become when you don't have all the facts. I know what you tend to do, what you tend to say. I can tell when you're down on top of that. I know how to brighten your day. And that I said with 110% confidence. I mean, that's not even a chance of me being wrong. I know your favorite movie, your favorite sitcom, your favorite thong, and your favorite song. So, baby girl, leave it alone and just trust that I know you. And no, it's not a co inky dink. No, when you cut on the TV and I recorded your favorite show. Or when we're riding in the rain after you had a horrible day, and all of a sudden your jams just start to play. I mean, what more can I say but that I know you? I know you so well that I would know when you've changed. When your hellos and your goodbyes no longer sound the same. When your hugs no longer have the same love. When your touch no longer has the same touch. When you no longer do what you do quite as much. Oh, you can cool believe that I don't know if your Hershey kisses ever become sugar free. You see, I know you, cause I know me. Like when I hold you tight, right before we go to sleep, and during the night our hearts mutually agree to get on the same beat. Our rhythm, our vibe, our passion is what causes our lungs to simultaneously breathe. And the unification of the two sends our souls on a rendezvous. We're under the raspberry moon, which creates a cotton candy colored beach. We hold hands and kiss in a euphoric bliss. Then my soul whispers to your soul. Shit. <laughs> you know I love it when we kick it like this. Our souls then hold each other close, closing eyes and going five, four, three, two, one, and exiting the stratosphere and beyond to land at God's feet and praying in the name of the Father and His Son. We see the next night together as one. I know you. And I've known you ever since the first time I ever laid eyes on you, and that was all that it took. Since then, you've been my prime interest, my favorite study, my my, my number one book, the one that I read every day. Yeah. You see, I dig every page. My suspenseful, thrilling, dramatic, yet romantic comedy, my one book library. What more can I say that I know you? And that that I've already stated is not even the half. So you can kill the feeble attempt to make it seem like I don't know your ass. <laughs> In fact, it's hard not to laugh when I conclude that I probably know more about you than you. Uh -huh. I spit this from the heart because that's where the truth is. I know you intimately well and I always will because God created woman from a man's rib. Thank you. out together you got nice after a, a, a moment earlier you got what after a moment earlier of me and you uh, why you gotta say all that why they gotta know all that cause we gotta be real about it why well, we gotta try to fake like it don't happen you don't gotta fake it but you don't gotta have everybody knowing all your business either. but either way we had a glorious his favorite spot 
I will say it's a pretty good Latin spot. I'm crazy about Gloria. I'm telling you. Every time I want to have a cheat day, this is the place that I come. Glorious. I know. I just I love Mexican food. I'm half Mexican anyway, you know? <laughs> you mean a quarter? Hey. I mean a third. Hey. A third. Hey, listen. <laughs> hey, I can do it too. I don't know if you know they do that, but I do. <laughs> <laughs> Sunday night. For a few hours, but at least we try something. Oh yeah. Food's cool. Video point, I really never been to Gloria before. People are like, I've never seen Gloria before. I don't care. 